Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Long time no see. Goofballs <laughs> may believe that I pick all of the movies. I only pick a majority of them. Kay picked this one. Keep that in mind. So go ahead, Kay. Talk about this movie, A Simple Favor. Simple Favor with Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively. So Anna, and Crazy Rich Asian Sky. Yeah. Move to the side. I see a mosquito or a fly. Fly on the wall, people. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> so Anna Kendrick. I'm still here in spirit, people. Anna Kendrick, I think her name was Stephanie. Yep. And she liked to volunteer for everything at the school. <clears throat> so they were having an international baking day is how they started it. She and picked she, Sweden, so she made her famous meatless meatballs. Right. So then cool. um, the teacher was like reminding everybody to sign up for the upcoming, what was it? Big sale or carnival, or carnival something. fair or whatever. And the teacher said, Stephanie, you don't need to sign up for everything. Yeah, she put her name down for like four options. I think it was like five. And then she crossed one out. And then she, <coughs> when the teacher wasn't looking, she put her name on another line. Um, so decorations. If the person that signs up for decorations doesn't bring them, she will, just in case, bring her balloon helium machine. Helium tank. Yeah. Because that's what the good moms have. Yep. So besides signing up for everything at the school, she also has a blog. <clears throat> with What's crafts. up mommy or something? I don't know. Moms or something. Or what's up moms? And she does crafts and she does baking, cooking, and that type of stuff. <clears throat> and she has a son and the son wants to hang out with another son. <laughs> On a play date. Yep, but his mom shows up <coughs> with Lively in heels, all dressed in black, really cool, look at, looking like a supermodel. Car. And um, he, she's PR for in for, for David, a fashion company. David John? No, David James? I don't, I don't know. It was like two first names. <clears throat> and. Um, the son wants to play at play with his friend from class, and she That's says, what I said. "No, we need to go." And then he's throwing play date, play date, play date, and she's like, "Stop it, you know." And then she asks Stephanie, Anna Kendrick, "Do you drink? Like, do you have any booze at your house? Well, we'll go to my house instead then." <clears throat> and I don't think she drinks very much. <laughs> And I, at this point, well, just keep going. So they go over there, and she oh, by the, makes oh, martinis. Uh, this isn't a spoiler. The movie is told in flashbacks, so we know that Anna Kendrick is going to be alive in this movie. I see another one. Jeez Louise, what's going on? I don't know. It is going on summer. It is summer. Summer is June 21st or something. So it's very close. So they're at her house. And oh my God, this house was a dream to yeah, Anna it's Kendrick. Like a rich it's like a rich, snobby person's house. It looks like JJ's house. <laughs> Much bigger, more open. And she just loved the kitchen. Oh well, it at God. least looks like her guest house. Anyway. JJ is a fictional character, okay? Okay. Well, it's based on a real character. Unless you want to reveal where JJ actually lives. In Glenview, so everyone knows. You can look for her in Glenview. They couldn't afford Highland Park, so they're in expensive Glenview. Didn't want to be closer to home like Lake Forest, but... You, know. you get that, people who aren't from, who don't live in the United States or Illinois? Now you know. That wasn't a pointless tangent. Anyway. Okay, so they have a few <coughs> more play dates, and then it comes down to the one play date where 
She wants to know Stephanie's secrets. Um, shouldn't we also know that she's married to some writer who wrote one, one book, book ten years ago and yeah, has had writer's like a, block? He's like a professor at the local college. He's some. He's from Crazy Rich Asians, as you mentioned. Mm-hmm. So anyway, they revealed her secrets. She reveals that she had a threesome with a female TA. And Anna Kendrick reveals that she banged her stepbrother. Yeah. And in that however, same thought, she however, now however, out however, that her husband. However, this isn't adult film, so they can say banged her brother. Yeah, in other words. Brother banger. <laughs> yeah, so then she Wow, had... this recut of bros is wow. <laughs> then she had flashbacks <laughs> of her husband. Who died in a car crash. Right, but you don't know who the passenger was until she had a flashback. She had a flashback that it was a party that her stepbrother was at for her son. And then, um, then we get, then it's revealed. Well, it's not really revealed, but now they we go get, for a drive. Well, no, we get to the point now where she's, where Blake Lively's character is missing. <sighs> That was said at the yeah. beginning of the movie. So at the beginning of her she, vlog. She announces it on her blog. <coughs> she keeps everyone up to date and she uses this blog like, you know. Vlog. Vlog. V-L-O-G. Mm -hmm. Like, help me out. If you see her, call me, text me, message me, whatever. And I have no idea how far we should even get into this movie because every five minutes it's there's a twenty eighteen. Well, there's a twist. It's it's full of twists. One twist. It's full of twists. Tyler Perry would be confused by these twists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It kept you on your toes. Uh, what was his? What was the person's name? Uh. The director of Remember Me would be confused by the twists. M. Night Shyamalan would be confused by twists. So she <coughs> she's trying to figure out what's going on with her new friend that she hasn't known very long. And the cops are questioning her. The, and by friend, she means the... Blake Lively. Blake Lively's husband. No, Blake Lively. I thought you were talking about how she was friends with Blake Lively's husband. Yeah, that was that was weird too. Well, what was really weird is the son came home and said, "I saw mommy." Yeah. So that's weird. Then he comes back with proof, which is weird. Well, at the same time, Anna Kendrick, <laughs> Anna Kendrick is kind of being Mindy Kaling's Velma. If if Mindy Kaling, if Mindy You've Kaling, you've never even watched it. Hey, we should watch it. No, no. I you buy Max, and then we'll all, and then we'll watch all twenty episodes. I thought what was really cool is when she was clearing well, out the closet, and she comes home, and the closet's back to normal. I was talking. And I'm like, what? I was maybe talking she, more of the fact. Maybe she is alive. I was talking more of the fact that she was trying to be a detective. Yeah. Trying to figure out clues, like going to the company, and I guess she's just a vlogger. I guess that pays her bills because she isn't seen working anywhere else. Right. It and, did mention and her that husband's her, life insurance runs out in a few months. Years or years, couple of years. Twenty. This was in twenty eighteen. It runs out in twenty twenty. Yeah. You're out of luck right now. <laughs> you mess with one of the moms. You mess with all of the moms. Spoiler. I didn't give anything away. This movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so many twists. Okay. There's there's three uh, yeah three people that um one is Only a father. Three? 
no, in the classroom, a father, another mom, and another mom. And they're always, <laughs> like, um, gossiping about what's going on. You know, Stephanie's going to get eaten alive by that woman and, you know, whatever. It's a, <sighs> she's a free nanny or something. Yeah. And then there's so many twists and reveals. It reminds me of an Elizabeth Banks movie. And did you like the one where they had um, the festival party, bake sale, whatever, and the guy brought in brownies that she had on her blog? Oh, oh yeah, oh. that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Anna Kendrick she goes, has... I thought you guys only made fun of me. Oh, yeah, we did in the beginning, but you got some good hints. Anna, Ke Anna Kendrick wrote, read that uh, husband's book. Yeah, so he, he knew about the book. But yeah, this movie has so many twists that it's tough to even talk about it because when you talk about one twist, then you have to, then it seems it's like... It's going to reveal another one because well, you talk about that one and then you learn about, you hear and think about the okay, next one. It's, it's Okay, like, it's, it's like there's this, I think it was Bunker, what was it, Bunker Hill Bunny or Sahara Hair? But um, there was one where... Yosemite Sam tried opening a door and there was another door behind it. Mm -hmm. Then he opened another door and there was another door. And then it's revealed that Bugs is like nailing like doors over and over and over again. So it's kind of like that. It's like if we reveal this thing, then there's this thing that's some. It seems like it's not a. It seems like it has no. Like it's not a twist at all. Or it's not a surprise. But then. There's also a lot of double crossing and you're not sure who to trust. You're not sure who to believe. Um, yeah. Anna is trying to put all of it together and she, you, she's like <sighs> playing, playing friends and figuring it out with her husband, but then her husband, Blake Lively's husband. Yes. And then figuring out with Blake and then it all pulls together again, and it's like, yeah. whatever. <clears throat> Maybe it's just me. It is just me, but... Probably not. Anna Kendrick is too baby-faced for me to believe her as a mom. Isn't she a mom in real life? I don't think so. <sighs> I thought she passed it. I mean, she was like, to, to she was being the pleasant, the patient. No, no. I mean, in her face, she still looks like Becca. Ah. Uh. To give you an example, people, of how baby-faced she still looks, when they go to a flashback scene of when she's in, like, senior year of high school, they don't cast someone else. They essentially just have her hair down straight. They put her in a dress and they like give her a bow and boom. She's more believable as like well, speaking just of getting the bow, out of college. When she was cleaning the lady's house. She goes, well, start in the bathroom first upstairs. That's a twit. That's a reveal. And then the guy with the shotgun, the uncle. That's another reveal. <sighs> it wasn't her uncle. It wasn't the uncle. The mom's brother. Blake Lively's mom's brother, played That's by a reveal. Gene Hackman. No, Gene. A Carano. No. Gene, 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 Gene. Charlotte. No. <laughs> oh God. Hello, was... Anna Kendrick. I thought your singing was the right pitch and perfect. Yeah, I don't remember her name. Jean somebody. His name. <coughs> no, the mother. <coughs> oh. <coughs> she played in a soap opera and then she was on a TV show. Jean Audrey, maybe? No, 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 no. Anyway. Smart. Jean Smart, I think. Okay, whatever. I think it was uh, her. She was the mom. This movie Order was... me the navy blue jacket and the size extra large. This movie was two hours long. Yeah, I fell asleep in part of it. Oh, my part. God. Part. 
She fell asleep during multiple parts because she was cold. Yeah, so I had the blanket on me warming me up. Can I call you out on something, please? No, no. So, would you recommend I wanted, this movie? I want to talk about the other would movie you... and how you compared, what movie you compared no, it to. No, Would you recommend this movie? I think if you have a rainy day like we do in June, <clears throat> can't go over to the amusement park, can't go play miniature golf, not fun to go shopping when you're running in and out of the store, dodging drops, and it's supposed to rain again. If you want to watch a movie that has a lot of twists and suspense and is a comedy, like how this movie is a quote-unquote comedy. And the zipper, I knew the zipper was going to get stuck. And people. So she used scissors to cut this expensive Okay, you want to know why the director said this film is a comedy? Hmm. Because it's <clears> shot <throat> in bright light. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know that could make things into comedies. Anyway, what do you got next for but us? But if I wanted, if I want to see something like this that has celebrities and involves twists and turns and it's a comedy if i want to see that i'll watch shotgun wedding or i'll watch a uh, red notice i'm not going to watch no time to die or glass onion oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you're just doing that join yeah. us join us next time when we're going to take a look at a kids movie from the mind of Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Bye! What? Yes, that oh exists. Oh my God, we're kidding. He made more than one kid's film.